yes, there's option for you and I. Hi guys, it's Eric from Hong Kong based in Germany. I've been fasting since I was 17 years old for almost 20 years. I want to give you guys alternative perspective about investment and personal finance. It's one of the many videos that I'm going to talk about what to invest when the stock market is so high and inflation is so high. Alternative investment in fine art for you and I. You probably remember the crazy prices in fine art in auctions. The 100 million Andy Warhol in 2008, 110 million Monet sold in 2019, or the 450 million dollars Da Vinci sold in 2017. This is all super crazy, right? If we look at the historical figures from 1995 to 2021 first half, if you look at contemporary art, it went up 13.6% per year. And this is after fees. So after charging fees, still 13.6% up per year. And we're not talking about private sales. We're talking about auctions that are public and artwork that were sold at least twice during this period of time. In comparison, S&P 500 stock market went up 9.5% annualized in that period of time. And we are talking about including dividend already. So the artwork, at least contemporary art, actually performing much better than stock market. As an alternative investment, it's very really important that it hedge against the conventional investments like stock market. If you look at the correlation between stock market and fine art, Citibank private bank did a research and defined that the correlation is only 0.12, which means zero is the lowest correlation and one is being totally correlated. For example, stock market goes up, it will go up directly in the same pace as well. 0.12 means that fine art market has a very low correlation, which is a good hedge against conventional investments. Imagine Da Vinci is not going to be alive again and paint another painting, right? The supply would only go down because of wars, because of theft, whatever destruction. The supply would only go down but the demand would remain the same or even higher and rich people, even the stock market crashes, they're still rich people. They still want to buy nice art and to store the value in them because they know that it will be scarred. Sounds cool, but we don't have $10 million to spare like the billionaire to buy a piece of art, right? Well, can we actually participate? I did a little bit of research. There's basically no ETFs like exchange traded funds or mutual funds where you can buy on a retail bank, broker, or stock exchange. There are some kind of exclusive funds, very exclusive that you need to spend maybe at least $1 million or some cheaper ones, 125 k in order to invest. The good news is there are options for you and I. Yes, there's option for you and I, crowdfunding platforms. I found a number of them, not too many. In Germany, there's Kunst21, which is still a startup, still starting. Um, there's one called 52 Masterworks, which is relatively small. In the US, there are two bigger ones. One is a sub fund in U Street, and the other one is really a crowdfunding platform called Masterworks. How do this kind of art crowd investing platforms work? I will take Masterwork and New Street as two examples because they are the biggest ones. New Street and Masterworks are also open globally to different investors, even though the secondary market for Masterwork is only for US citizens, but the primary is open for everyone around the world. The first thing is that they do the analysis. They have a dedicated team to do research and analysis to decide what kind of artwork to invest in. After they purchase the artwork, they will go to SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission, which is basically the regulator also for stock market in the US, to have the approval to securitize the artwork. Basically, the artwork will be owned by an LLC, a company. And then they will sell the shares of that company that owns the artwork to us. So we will be one of the shareholders. And then they will store the piece of art in a facility that is specialized in holding this kind of very expensive artwork. Of course, they will also have insurance and then within three to five years, they will try to sell the artwork, ideally to a private collector, uh, so that it's less expensive than an auction house. But after seven years, if it's not sold, then probably they start to look for auction houses to help to sell that. 
after they have sold the artwork, then they will have the proceed back to the company that holds the artwork, and then they will dissolve the company and divide the profits among the shareholders and the managers. The key question remains, does it make sense for us to invest into art market as a retail investor? Well, there are a number of pros and cons. The first pro is obvious. Da Vinci, Picasso or Monet, they're all dead. They're not going to make more paintings. The paintings would be rare and rare because of damages, because of war, because of theft. The second pro is that this is a very good hedge against the stock market, which is the conventional investment. Imagine if I were a billionaire with 2 billion net worth. Even if the stock market crashes 50%, I still want to spend money on the, for example, Da Vinci, because I know this is unique of history, and I like the painting itself, or just simply because of store of value, because I know that it would be rare and rare to find this kind of paintings. The third point is more emotional. It's more like the illusion that you own a piece of history, and a piece of art that worth millions of dollars. Uh, of course, you're just owning a fraction of that. The fourth point is that it's relatively accessible. You only need to spend like a few thousand dollars and you could be a co-owner of a masterpiece that is worth several million dollars. The most important, of course, is the return, right? The return in the past 25 years from 1995 to 2021 first half was around 13.6% per year which is much higher than the return from S&P 500. It's also regulated, for example, Masterworks is regulated by the SEC, the same regulator for the stock market in the US, so it's relatively safe. Probably the most revolutionary part of this kind of art crowd invest platform is that they handle everything for you, from analysis, from purchasing artwork, from dealing with SEC, setting up the company, you just need to be a shareholder, and then they store it for you, they do the insurance, they sell it for you. So this is a one-stop shop, and it's really attractive. Of course, there are also many cons, or else everyone would be buying art already, right? First obvious thing is that there are not many choices. As I mentioned, there's no ETF or mutual fund, and major banks or big funds with the brands they never have anything for retail investors in art. That's why there are very few platforms to choose from. The second point is that it's really not liquid, meaning is that there's no such stock exchange with millions of investors willing to buy and sell at different prices. You basically need to stuck with it for three to five years or even 10 years with your money stuck there. Of course, uh, Masterworks, for example, try to have a secondary market, but it's still not really liquid. The third con is that you have very little say in the timing or the price in the sales of that artwork. Of course, as a shareholder, you have the final say to say yes or no, but basically you have very little control over it. And the other con is that they charge a lot. Of course, you have the annual fees, for example, it could be 1-2%, to 2 and then also the platform would want to charge you from 15-20% to 20 after you sold it with the profits. In addition, if you're selling it through an auction house, and of course you also need to pay the auction house, it could be ranging from 10 to 25% or even more. Last but not least, tax. You will be holding the artwork as a shareholder of an LLC, a limited company. In the US, maybe it's easier, but for me, for example, I'm in Germany, the tax could be a little bit complicated and you probably need to hire someone to do the tax for you. we decided that we want to buy into the art world. What kind of options for you and I? As mentioned, there are not many platforms we can join. Um, I identified two of them. One is called Masterworks and the other one is called Yield Street. Both of them are based in the US and are membership based. But having said that, they're open to international investors, at least for primary market. But Masterworks also has a secondary market so that you can sell your share that you have invested into the artwork before the artwork is being sold. And this part, the secondary market in Masterworks, is only for US citizens. Both of them are so-called membership-based, so you need to do some kind of phone interviews with them in order to be a member before you can start investing. So I'm speculating that this is probably a requirement from the SEC, or this simply just pretend to be exclusive. 
Let's start with Masterworks. They claim to have at least 325,000 signups. Even though signup does not equal to investors, but still this is quite an impressive uh, population. And in terms of artwork, they have more than 100 in their portfolio, worth more than $350 million. So this is quite a sizable portfolio. And we talk about the portfolio, they are focusing on blue chip artists. We're talking about Banksy, we're talking about Andy Warhol, we are talking about Monet. Their portfolio of contemporary artwork went up 15.8% since September 2019, which is pretty impressive. So normally in terms of timeline, they're looking at selling the artwork in three to five years. But of course, if they cannot be sold within three to five years to a private buyer, then they will start considering selling it through an auction from the seventh year until the tenth year. And of course, through auction houses, then it would be more expensive in terms of intermediate charges. Talking about charges is relatively simple. Every single year, they will charge 1.5% on the amount that you have invested. In the sales of the artwork, they will charge 20%. If it was sold through an auction house, then the auction house will probably charge 10 to 25%. In terms of investment size, the minimum investment amount dependent on the artwork itself. The more expensive the artwork it is, the higher the minimum investment amount so that the shareholder numbers would not be too high. And they allowed the uh, incremental amount increase of $20 each time. And last but not least, in terms of tax, is a K1 tax in the US. New Street is a crowd investment platform. They have a number of funds. The platform itself is quite sizable with around $62 million of revenue. And in terms of art, they have a dedicated art fund called Art Equity Fund Number 2, which is still open. They aim to invest in 10 to 20 pieces of art with a focus on relatively new artists. They also emphasize on having more female artists in their collection. Their target is to sell the artwork in 3 to 5 years with a return annualized of 13 to 17%. In terms of fees, it would be 2% per year on the initial amount invested in the fund and then 0.25% to pay for the special purpose vehicle, the company that holds the artwork. There will be a charge, of course, when the artwork is being sold. The first 15% will go to the investors and then the remainder will be divided uh, among the investors and the managers. So the manager will get a 15% cut of the remainder. In terms of tax, it would be a K1 tax, but the bad thing is that the minimum investment amount would be $10,000, which is relatively high comparing with the other platform. Personally, it's extremely interesting. I really want to participate in the art world in terms of investment through this kind of crowd investing platforms. Uh, the showstopper is probably because of the tax, uh, because I'm in Germany, uh, probably I need to hire a tax advisor to deal with the tax. So if I don't invest enough of money and the profit is not high enough, profit is not worth it. Are you guys going to invest in art now? Leave me in the comments below. If you like the video, remember like, share and subscribe. Even better, click the bell button next to the subscribe button. I'm going to produce more videos about alternative investment in other ideas. Ciao.